Shabarium has obviously had a very booming start. Very interesting with the initial launch and the crash of the network. And now everything has been back up running and transactions have been looking good. But now we're seeing something a little different. In fact, you know, over the last few days, we've seen transactions essentially crater, right? They've dropped very significantly. We were over 200,000 transactions a day. And we've now fallen to 45,000 transactions yesterday. So the question I want to pose is, is Shibarium dying? Are people losing interest? And the answer is not necessarily. All right. When we look at these stats a little deeper, what people need to realize is these hundreds of thousands of transactions right now, they're being done by a very minute amount of people. If we look, actually, there you go. If we look. Here you can see, you know, since September 8th, there's only been about a thousand daily active users on Shibarium. In fact, as of the 14th, it was 908. And yesterday we saw it drop down to about 700. So there really hasn't been much variance in the terms of daily active users. And this really just has to do with, you know, there not being much on, on Shibarium yet, right? <clears throat> we don't have the official decks. There hasn't been many dApps or projects launched. There's a lot still to come. We're still kind of in these infancy days. So although the transactions have fallen down to 40,000 transactions a day, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's dying. It just means that those people that were performing these insane amount of transactions, you know, 200,000 transactions across 900 people, that's, that's a lot per person, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, a lot per account. So what we're now just seeing is they're doing less. So what we need to see now is just more adoption. We need to see more people utilizing and building on Shibarium. And again, these times will come when there's some of these actual rollouts that hit the network, you know, the wallets, the stable coins, treat token, right? There's a lot of things that are still going to come down the line that will help promote this growth and adoption that Shibarium is, is set to see. If you guys remember, there's, uh, what was it? Seven, 7,000 projects that are waiting to launch on Shibarium. Now we'll obviously see if you know, I don't think all those are going to come to fruition, guys. I don't think we're going to see 7,000, but I would not be surprised by, you know, several hundred of these projects launching. And I'm talking about projects with actual good utility, stuff that is focused around burning SHIB too. That's where we could start to see bigger burns and stuff like that. So I wanted, I wanted to kind of get out in front of this because obviously this is a very steep drop off. If you weren't looking a little deeper, this would look like very severe. This would look like an issue, you know, if you had a network like, you know, Ethereum, Polygon, something like that drop 75% in terms of transactions, that'd be a big red flag. But again, because of how young Shibarium is and, and because of how few people are using it right now, I don't think it's really anything that is, is worth noting. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Hopefully you're having a great Sunday so far, but make sure you guys show your love below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. You can stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Make sure you drop that like as well. Let the algo know that you guys are enjoying the content. So have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.